Today is Wednesday, April 26th, and Miss Amelia Bedelia here is in labor. Her due date was on Sunday the 23rd, so she is three days past her due date, and we have been anxiously awaiting her going into labor. Her water just broke at 10 o'clock. She is cleaning that up currently. We've had some grunting. She has been very quiet about her contractions. She certainly had me questioning whether she was going into labor because of how quiet she's been. So I was doing everything I could to make sure she had everything she needed, make sure she was comfortable. I had the shed set up with shavings, but I wasn't seeing her doing any pawing or nesting or getting it ready or anything. So yesterday I decided, you know what, let me try some straw and see what she thinks of that. I put fresh straw in here and she started making a nest. That's what it took. She needed some nice straw. She built herself a little nest right here, dug it all out nice and deep, and she slept in the nest last night. She didn't sleep great. You could tell she was uncomfortable, changing position, laying flat out. Certainly was concerned because it looked like she wasn't moving or breathing, but she was just exhausted and finally slept pretty hard. Fancy Nancy right here is here for moral support. They are twin sisters and they are the only two females here on the farm. So as long as she continues to remain supportive, she gets to stay nearby. And as long as Amelia's okay with it. During Fancy Nancy's pregnancy, we did have to kick Amelia out because Amelia got really protective of Fancy Nancy when she was screaming out in labor. So we're gonna see how it goes this time with Fancy Nancy. But she knows what it's like to have kids, so hopefully she'll be more understanding of the process. Right, Miss Amelia? Now we don't know how many babies she has in her belly, but her mother had twins, which was Fancy Nancy and Amelia Bedelia, and then Fancy Nancy this past summer had twin bucklings. So my guess is that Miss Amelia will also have twins, but we'll see. My husband thinks she'll have three, my son thinks she'll have four, so we'll see. <laughs> We've all been taking guesses, huh? All right, she's given some good pushes back here. It's okay, just a water sack. I'm gonna get the kitting kit from outside the door and just bring it close by so I have all my supplies on hand. The kids were home for Fancy Nancy's birth, but unfortunately they're gonna miss Miss Amelia's. I miss my little assistants. <laughs> I've got my kitting kit ready. I've got a tarp that I'm going to use to try to contain the mess. Oh, so my husband just saw on the goat camera that I was out here and just asked what was going on. Let him know she's in labor, so he's coming out to help. <laughs> here is hand sanitizer. And get ready. I'm going to put some gloves on. I got gloves and I picked up a new nasal aspirator for the kids when they're born. Mm, here we go. What do I do? So as she delivers, yeah. I'll have you handing me the stuff that I need. So nasal aspirators and towels are going to be the main thing. Yeah. You're going to be okay. Yeah, you're gonna be okay. I know. I know. But this is active pushing starting at 10.15, so that means by 11.15, you should have a baby on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, otherwise I'm gonna help you. All right? But I know you can do it. You're, you're my strong girl. Yes, you are. You're my strong girl. There you go. That's my girl. That's it. There you go. Okay. There you 
go. I know. We want head first with two little hooves. That's what we want them in the diving position, okay? Get those babies in the right position to come out. Then you just push them out, okay, baby? I know. There you go. There you go. I'm gonna switch my glove right, right when she's like pushing. Cause until then, I'm gonna be doing little massages, huh? I do massages on the bellies. So before she went and started having these strong pushes. She wouldn't let me touch her. She did not want to be touched. Definitely didn't want her udder touched. But she is allowing touch now because she is so uncomfortable. It's her first time. So she doesn't know what's happening. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna switch these gloves now. This one? Yes, yep, that's the one. There we go. Okay, see what we've got. So we're going to be looking here for a head and two hooves, ideally. Good girl. <laughs> yeah, she... She got you. She got me good. I just got splattered. I'm in the splash zone. Come on, girl. It's okay, huh? Come on, girl. Here, just in case I need your assistance, put that on your hand. That's all your water break in there. There we go. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> all right, I'm not seeing anything yet. Oh, that's my strong girl. That's my strong girl. Yeah. When you're ready, you give a nice push, okay? Slow and steady. You've got this. You're okay, Daddy's here too. You're all right. Seen. There's gotta be more.
it. Is it? Is it so attached? Push it out. It's okay. It's okay. Good girl. Good pushes. Okay, let's go see 
here, Mama. Let's go see Mama. Oh, look. 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 This is your beautiful baby. Yeah. Oh, good girl. You're licking her. Good job. Oh, it's a girl. You had a baby girl. Oh my goodness, good job. And she's got a moon spot just like you, Miss Amelia. Oh my goodness, good girl. Great job. Oh, and another moon spot. Oh my goodness, you passed on your white pole, your freckled ears, and your moon spot. You did good. A beautiful baby. I'm so sad for your other doe. You have two beautiful does. One didn't make it. I'm so sorry, Miss Amelia. Okay. Uh, nope. She's a little girl, huh? Okay, Mama. Okay. I know that towel was quite slimy and wet. Here, baby. Here's your baby. That's your baby. She's beautiful. Oh, she's looking to nurse already. What a strong girl you are. You're such a good mama. You letting her try to nurse. Oh, she's trying to stand up. <coughs> mama, look. She's trying to come see you. That strong girl already standing up. Tell me, tell me we got some alive babies. Can you see her? Oh, look at that thing! It's a girl. Gorgeous with a pink, with a pink nose. Just one. She had two girls. Okay, baby. I'm trying to get her to nurse. Two minutes old, and she was already trying to stand up and nurse. She's very strong. Whew. And Amelia's doing great. She's letting her nurse. Good, come home and meet her. Alright. <laughs> oh my gosh! She had another baby! I didn't even see it come out! Okay, 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 Mama, look! There's another baby! You didn't tell me you pushed out another baby! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! I was trying to get the little baby to nurse and you pushed out another one! Standing up too! My goodness! I'm so sorry, baby! Oh! Get the squeegee! Would you just rocket it out? Oh! Hello, welcome to the world. This is the craziest birth ever, Miss.
Miss Amelia. your boy over here oh my goodness come here let's get you out of that slime yeah oh <laughs> mama wants to clean you little girl before you take off Go. You're gonna clean up the baby. Yeah. Yeah. Clean him up. I'm in here. Yeah. Hey, mom. Guess what? Hi. Guess what? There's two babies. Mom, I thought you said one was <laughs> naked. I was, three? I was, when I said to you, I'm going to help her nurse, I started yeah. to help her nurse, I turned around, this baby was on the ground, she just must have shot him out without a word. She didn't... He or she? He. We got a girl and a boy. <laughs> this is a boy, Kaden. What do you think? Oh, look, he's licking her. Yeah, she's cleaning him, like a good mommy. That one didn't go? That baby died. Oh. It's so sad. What? She had three babies. I can't believe it. I know. Oh, look at that boy. Oh, the boy's coming to see you. He <laughs> wants to say hello. Hello. What's up? Mom, why is he walking so weird? Good girl. Brand new. He's just learning how to walk. <laughs> this is the craziest oh. birth ever. I got three. <laughs> Dad, you picked three, so you got it. I did pick three. <laughs> Beautiful. Moon spot. There is a moon spot? <gasps> He's got a moon spot on his hip. <laughs> oh, and, and on this oh, on the side there. And, and one hip. <gasps> it's so cute! It's a baby! Look at the white face on this thing. <laughs> Mom, can I see a one see? that oh. didn't survive? <laughs> so the moon spots, we got one, two, three, four. Hello. Oh, I didn't see you right there. Oh, God! Oh, sorry. Can I get one here? Mom, how about I get the boy and Kalabi gets the girl? How about that? <laughs> how about... Well, well, we'll talk about it, baby. <laughs> Look, she's nursing. Oh. She did it. Now we, just, now we just gotta get the boy to nurse. You think he'll learn? Maybe. Just 
Excuse me, Mama. I'm just going to check your belly. <laughs> nope, I think you're done, baby. I don't feel anything. Good job. Oh, yeah, you're nursing. Good. Good job, little girl. Like, don't touch my head. <laughs> I don't feel anything, but she does have the two colics, which usually... In tons? Usually. Why is her looking at baby? Even though that's dead. Because she doesn't know why it's not moving. What does it think? She doesn't know, baby. <laughs> Mom, why is she drinking that stuff? She's drinking molasses water. That is nice and warm for her. It'll help perk her up, make her feel better after giving birth. Why for drip say on the baby? Okay, she'll lick it off. What's that for? Alright, it's time to cut their umbilical cords. I got the surgical scissors and diluted iodine. I did use Hi. some warm water in here so it's not so shockingly cold. Mom, how long have you been doing this? This is my second time helping a goat. Fancy Nancy was my first. This is the second time I'm helping with delivery. The first one went perfectly smooth. And this delivery was tragic. And I'm still kind of in shock from it all. All right, little girl, you want to go first? All right, we're just going to trim this. I'm going to give it a little trim. <laughs> Just a little trim. Alright, and the little boy, he needs his umbilical cord cut. So I'm just going to pick him up. I know, I know, you're a screamer, I'm sorry. I'll do it nice and quick for you, handsome boy. She's all set. Wait, you're dead? Yep, the two of them have had their umbilical cords cut. No, this one. Oh, that one, that's her placenta. It needs to come out on its own for my second time assisting a goat with the kidding process. This was a lot. Honestly, I think I'm still in shock from all of it. <sighs> Her very first kid. A beautiful doling. She, uh, she was stillborn. She came out breech. Amelia had been pushing, but just doing small pushes and saw the bubble but couldn't see what was in there. I couldn't see any hooves. And when she came out it was just her butt first and she is incredibly tiny. She's smaller than these two. She looks like she's like half the size. So I'm not sure if she died prematurely to labor or if she was stuck in the birth canal. It had been 50 minutes since Amelia had started pushing when this little baby came out. She came out with a blue tongue, not breathing, no heartbeat. 
We tried to resuscitate her. <laughs> tried CPR, nothing worked. She's beautiful. She's got, she's got her mama's moon spots and beautiful little, beautiful little buckskin. I was so afraid all the babies had died inside and that they didn't make it to full term. Just with how small this baby was and she was having a hard time. I am so thankful that she was able to have two more beautiful babies and so far, <laughs> so far they're healthy. And thankfully they didn't come out breach. The second one born is this beautiful doling. He has a little pink nose with some black spots on him. Beautiful white on her face. She's got gold eyes and beautiful little frosted ears. And she's also got her mom's moon spots on her back, on each side. And if you look at her belly, I'll show you her belly. She's got some white on her belly. <laughs> you wanna show them the beautiful moon spots on this side? It's so pretty. Look at that face. Oh. And show off those gorgeous frosted ears. <laughs> and she got up quickly, was walking around, and she went right for nursing. And so she got nursing early. And I was concentrating on making sure she actually nursed, not even thinking that Miss Amelia had another baby in there. I was really thinking twins. And I heard a cry and I looked and there was another kid crying on the ground. And I panicked in the moment thinking the firstborn had come back to life. That was my initial reaction. And I quickly ran to grab it. And I looked to the side and realized, no, that one's still dead. This is another one, and she must have just shot it out. Just, she was standing up and just pushed the baby out. Must have just fallen, the poor baby. So I just quickly cleaned his face off and gave him to mom. And honestly, she kept focusing on the doling. I don't even think she realized that she shot out another kid. It took her a few minutes to actually realize, oh wait, I have to lick this baby too. <laughs> I know. So this little buckling, he's the third born, and he's got Amelia Bedelia's frosted ears. He's got a white pole like Amelia. <laughs> it's okay. I know. And then for moon spots, he's got a moon on his back and a little one on his back left leg. <laughs> Look at that little belly. I know. I know. Go ahead, show him your cute face. <laughs> your little handsome guy. Oh, and then show him those gorgeous frosted ears, huh? Yeah. All right, you can go back to mom. She's trying to pass her placenta. I just needed to double check, make sure she wasn't passing another kid. I didn't feel any when I bumped her, but I am very new to this, so it wasn't something I would say for sure. She's a very good mom. She's very attentive. She's cleaning them all off. Talking to them quite a bit. She likes them to stay close. She doesn't like when they wander off from her. And like I was saying, the doling, she nursed right away. But the little buck, he was 
<laughs> having a lot of trouble finding the teeth. So I did have to assist him and even then he was still having trouble because he didn't want my assistance. He kept yelling at me not to help him. But finally, working as a team, we finally got him to nurse. <laughs> and Miss Amelia drank her molasses water. I wasn't sure with a stillborn if you're supposed to show the baby to the mother goat. Amelia did end up coming over and licking the baby and checking on the baby and calling to it and nudging it and oh that broke my heart because she was realizing wait this baby's not alive and then she quickly looked and checked on her other two to make sure they were okay and you could kind of see that like relief in her eyes like oh okay well they're okay this one isn't the one that's not the one that I've been cleaning that was alive so so once she saw her two babies she seemed okay and hasn't gone over to the dead baby at this point oh I have to I have to check to see if they're pulled or horned so that I can let the vet know in case we have to set up a disbudding appointment Oh my goodness, this girl is full of surprises. I have placenta right next to me. I didn't even realize that it had dropped out. Okay, one less thing to worry about. The placenta is out. Nice job, Amelia. Nice job passing the placenta. Yeah, great job, baby. All right, we're figuring this out together. Right, little one. You mind if I take you for a minute and just check? Can I check and see? So she's got colics on each side. I don't feel any movement. I'm going to guess that she is horned. But again, still new at this, so I definitely will have the vet double check on this little one. Miss Amelia Bedelia is horned and the baby sire is pulled so there's a chance that they could be pulled. What do you think? Bud? You gonna let me look? I don't see colics on your head. Let me just check. No. How about, can we try it while you're on the ground? I don't feel anything with him. He might be pulled. I'm not sure. It's not letting me get a good feel. <laughs> so now I'm going to call the vet because having the first baby coming out dead, I need to check and see if she requires antibiotics. Okay, so I left a message for the vet. Hopefully I'll hear back soon and have an answer as to whether or not she needs antibiotics and to get checked out after losing a baby. I'm really proud of this girl. She did great. This girl loves to be picked up, doesn't she? What do you think? <laughs> I love them. I'm keeping them. Okay. I had to go pick up Calliope from school so she gets to see the babies for the first time and they need their probiotics. So I'm giving them a probiotic plus paste. What was that? Huh? Good job. And then I'm going to get just a little bit for the babies. You want some of this? Says, no, I don't want that. <laughs> Says, no, I don't want it. It's bigger than my mouth, huh? I think I'll have to put a little on my finger, huh? Ready? I'm just going to put a little bit in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Did I put that in your mouth? You're okay. Okay, buddy. You're okay. You are so cute. Oh, my goodness. Look at those spots. No, you're going to get just a little bit, okay? Do you want to lick it? You're going to try a little bit? She's afraid of it. 
Okay. I know. <laughs> okay, okay. Not clean your face. <laughs> I know, but you got stuff all over your face. <laughs> it's wet. Oh, no, I don't want to make you sticky. You didn't lick it, huh? <laughs> it's okay. Come on. Don't go to the Can I see her for a minute? You got yeah. it so I can okay. clean it? You got stuff on your face too! Mm. <laughs> you messy, huh? Mama made you messy. Got <laughs> probiotics all over you. So in the meantime, I did hear back from our veterinarian who sees our goats and talked to her about the labor and how everything went and about the stillborn and she said based on how small the stillborn was, she feels like the baby had died prematurely in the womb and that's why the baby came out dead unfortunately. There was nothing I could have done. She did say that we could send the body for an autopsy to see what exactly caused the death. And so I do feel some relief knowing that it wasn't something that went wrong with the delivery, that I could have done something differently. Because that was I, what my, what one of my fears was, was that I should have intervened earlier and got the baby out. but. She feels it wouldn't have made a difference if the baby had died prematurely in the womb. I'm so thankful Amelia's okay and that she's got two beautiful babies to raise. You gonna go check on your baby? He's resting. You gonna lick him? It just melts my heart seeing how happy she is to finally be a mom at three years old. She has been waiting. She was definitely not happy when Fancy Nancy had babies and she did not. She completely took over with Fancy Nancy's kids and tried to raise them herself. <laughs> Which Fancy Nancy appreciated the breaks that she got from the Bucklings because Auntie Amelia here was helping out so much. And now Miss Amelia has her own kids and Fancy Nancy gets to be the auntie this time. <laughs> Which, speaking of, we're going to let Fancy Nancy in to come say hello to the babies and see how she reacts. How she reacts will determine whether she gets to stay and hang out or if she's going to be in her own separate area from the babies. Amelia and Nancy are very bonded, so I'm hopeful that they will do okay with the babies together, but you never know. <laughs> Okay, Mom, I think she's afraid of babies. Yeah, she's a little nervous around the babies. Oh. Yeah. Well, Nancy, you just got yourself a separate stall. Yep. Traveler. So they'll have a separate area. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And that is Miss Amelia Bedelia's kidding. She did a great job having her kids. We got through it. Second time helping with the kidding. Made it through. We got some happy babies, a happy mama. <laughs> and I'm happy that they're doing okay. The vet's gonna be coming out to Disbud where I think it's the girl who is going to have some horns and I believe the boy is pulled, but I'm going to be feeling for our horns over the next few days and I will let the vet know and then of course when she comes she'll confirm before the disbudding procedure and we'll make sure that both babies are going to be hornless. <laughs> and if you're wondering why we removed the horns, we made a disbudding video all about it that you can feel free to check out. If you'd like to see Fancy Nancy's kidding video, that went completely normal. That was a very good first time assisting with 
a goat labors. If you want to see a normal goat kidding video, that is the one to watch. This one was uh, not easy, that's for sure. <laughs> but I am so thankful for these two beautiful babies. And if you haven't started your farm yet, what are you waiting for? Get your farm on. Like and, like and subscribe! Farm, a wicked awesome farm. Watch this channel to learn what to do. We love to farm and we'll show.